What's good, family? It's your boy Ma. Back at again with another reaction video. So I have my mother to react to uh, NBA Youngboy's crime history. Y'all been asking for this video, so I'm just gonna give y'all this video because I guess y'all like when my mama talk about why she think they did the things they did. And before the video start, TK Mama and was in the streets. Oh, okay. I'm finna uh, then the do not do when you talking about having guns at the um the other uh, reaction video we did. Yeah. At the funeral. So basically, after he did that video. Like four people got killed in that video. After, like after the video, like it was a football player. He was D one, oh, wow. and there was a couple more people that had got killed. So, that, so people from Florida were like basically explaining like that's why they you know do certain things. But we're gonna talk about that in another video. We ever read to another video. But yeah, you know, we got young boys crime history, man. Uh, we know some of the crime history. I don't know. I probably we probably don't know like the date all the way back. But we know like the current crime history. Right. But other than that, my mom over here looking like a a piece of candy. <laughs> but other than that, we can get straight to this video. NBA Youngboy is one of the most talented rappers in hip hop right Thanks. now. Thanks. The 19-year-old Baton Rouge rapper has gained Ooh. massive Baton following Baton online. Baton Rouge. Baton Rouge. What happened to Baton? <laughs> Baton Rouge. Rapper. Baton Rouge. Okay. With almost every single song NBA Youngboy released getting tens of millions of plays. Nice. What makes NBA Youngboy unique is his ability to make a melodic type of song bouncy and catchy. You can listen to an NBA Youngboy song in just about any situation. But Thanks. in my opinion, the thing that makes NBA Youngboy such an iconic artist is the emotional aspect of his songs. Even though a majority of his fans may not completely relate to Youngboy and the struggles he went through, he still has this ability to make a connection with his fans, with his music, that a lot of other artists struggle to do. What exactly are these hard-to-relate struggles that NBA Youngboy tends to rap about in his music? Well, we have an idea that some of it may involve his past criminal experiences while growing up in Baton Rouge. So, without further ado, here is an exclusive inside look at the criminal history of NBA Youngboy. No, I don't know. Before this, before this, like, get too deep and we start actually t thinking about it and talking about it, but I was saying, like, I want to know, like, how do his music affect our, like, not, like, in a bad way, but, like, how does music affect our brains? Like, everybody who can really relate. Because like, everybody that people that's not hating. I'm going to say, everybody, people, you know, people just hate on him just because, but. Some part of his life, everybody done been through, you know, whether if it's, like he said, when he was talking about, um, he didn't have any shoes or he didn't have any name brand stuff. You know, yeah. you got people who can relate from that. You got people who, you know, can relate to the fact that growing up, they joined gangs or whatever because yeah. that was their family. You got people who can relate to the fact that his mother so-called picked a dude over him. You know what I'm saying? Stuff yeah. like that. You got people who can do that. Then you got a lot of people who can relate because they stayed with their grandparents. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's like bits and pieces everybody can relate to. And nine times out of ten, everybody done been through that same hurt. Yeah. And I and I was just saying, I just wanna know like is, is it like scientific proven like artist music, like does it do something to your brain or I, I just wanna know. I don't think it do anything to your Not brain. Like in a bad I, think, one, like, I think it's just people can find a spot that y'all are all young. So y'all can relate to it. You don't see, you see very few older people that be like, oh yeah, young boy. You know what I'm saying? That's just like our older group related to Tupac. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because we grew up in that era. Y'all growing up in the era like he grew up. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's like a lot of stuff going on. It's a lot of, you know what I'm saying? Violence and stuff like that. Now y'all in that era. So that's how y'all can relate to it. NBA Youngboy's first documented arrest happened on November 28, 2016. According to authorities, NBA Youngboy was arrested by U.S. Marshals in Austin, <laughs> Texas for two counts of attempted first-degree murder like like from a pass song. incident and that, that occurred on November like 2, 2, 2016 in Louisiana. Sources claim that Youngboy and another man allegedly got out of a car and opened fire at a group of people on the 2000 block of Kentucky Street in South Baton Rouge. Shortly after being officially charged and booked, NBA Youngboy was extradited to another jurisdiction and was held on a $200,000 bond. 
After spending almost seven months behind bars, NBA Youngboy had a court hearing where he ended up confessing to firing a gun multiple times during the drive-by shooting that happened on the 2000 block of Kentucky Street on November 2nd, 2016. Moments after Youngboy's confession, the prosecutor offered a plea deal to him for a lesser charge in exchange for a guilty plea. The deal was that if NBA Youngboy pled guilty, the current charges would be reduced to one count of aggravated assault with a firearm rather than two counts of attempted second-degree murder. After already confessing to his crimes, NBA Youngboy obviously took this generous plea deal. At the end of the hearing, Judge Bonnie Jackson granted Youngboy a post-conviction bond of $50,000, which allowed him to leave jail that day. Once home, NBA Youngboy recorded and released his song, Untouchable, which is one of his most popular songs to date. Several months later, NBA Youngboy was due back into court on August 22, 2017 for sentencing. At the beginning of sentencing, the judge gave NBA Youngboy an emotional lecture that lasted for quite some time, according to people present in the courtroom. After this lecture, the judge handed down a 10-year suspended prison term to NBA Youngboy, as well as three years of active supervised probation. While well, NBA Youngboy is most likely going to be heavily- Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, like, he gotta go back and do the tears? That's what I'm thinking. Oh, that's sick. But, but, probably, <laughs> what's probably gonna happen is, out of them three years, if he don't get in any trouble, they'll probably knock it down. Oh, that's sick. So, oh, wow, that's sick. See, and people know that. That's why they try to keep him in trouble. That's sick. Like, he gotta go back and do 10 years? It's sick. But he might not have to do the 10. That's just right now, that's what she's saying. Uh. Will be monitored for the next decade or so. He still came out with a W on this one. On top of all that, the judge also ordered Young Boy to perform 250 hours of community service, Ooh. which includes an anti-violence public service announcement, as well as a $5,000 fine. At the end of sentencing, NBA Young Boy apologized for his crimes and said he had made a mistake and that he had learned from it. The last word said by the judge was, failure is not an option, to Youngboy, as he was about to get up and leave the courtroom. For the next seven months, NBA Youngboy focused on furthering his music career and stayed out of trouble while doing so. But that came to an end on February 24th, 2018, after NBA Youngboy was arrested in Tallahassee, Florida, before stepping on stage for his scheduled performance. Authorities claim that they arrested NBA Youngboy for allegedly committing acts of assault, kidnapping, and for a weapons violation. Oh, I, I didn't... These stem from an alleged altercation with his... I did not know that. I didn't know about that either. Girlfriend, Jania Jackson. According to hotel oh, surveillance footage, NBA Youngboy yes, and his girlfriend did. allegedly engaged in a heated tussle that included Youngboy throwing Jania Jackson down to the ground. That's After the surveillance footage surfaced online, oh, yeah. Jackson went on to social media and addressed the charges against young boy and said, Kidnapped? Fuck no. Has he ever put his hands on me? Fuck no. A few days later, NBA young boy was transferred to Ware County Jail in Georgia on multiple charges, two of them being felonies for kidnapping and aggravated assault. On March 16th, 2018, NBA Youngboy was released from jail on a $75,000 bail and quickly took to social media to address these claims and said, That's just us. That's how we like to play. There were very few details on the outcome of this case, so the only information I can really give you guys is that the judge revoked his ability to travel out of state for the next nine of his 12 scheduled shows. Mm. NBA Youngboy's next arrest occurred on February 11, 2019 at the Hyatt House Hotel on Marietta Street in downtown Atlanta. Sources say that around 12.15 p.m., a hotel housekeeper was assigned to clean the room NBA Youngboy and a female friend, Star Thigpen, were staying in at the time. With the hotel room supposed to be empty, that's his baby mama. But you know, you don't know what I get about that situation. He didn't do nothing. Right, that's what I'm saying. Everything, it seemed like, except for, you know, the beginning where, where he like said the that he, murder, yeah, yeah, just just that. But everything else, they saying that they were playing, you know what I'm saying, in the hallway or whatever. Yeah, but I don't know. Whatnot. What I mean, you really don't know. I mean, they could have been, you got some people who really play rough like that. Yeah. But and then people might take it too serious. Now, they could have been extremely loud and that's what drew their attention and that was the only way they was going to calm down because you know i mean they're let's young. be realistic yes they're young and they smoke well, and they drink they, we're young <laughs> you know what i'm saying and they do all that and that tend to make a person jump out of their skin yeah i mean i'm talking about like the star situation you know like the housekeeper coming in yeah, he didn't do, I mean, that. He he didn't do nothing then. he didn't do nothing it was the fact that that lady was aggy and kept coming back and trying to take yeah. pictures. It's and crazy else. how it's, it's crazy like, how people 
down talk this man so bad but sometimes when you like when you really look at it he don't really be the one that's doing that right he be minding his business people be attacking him really or entered the room after knocking several times after entering nba young boy told star thigpen to get the housekeeper out of the room and according to police Thigpen did so by assaulting the housekeeper by striking her in the face. Now, this see, physical altercation continued yeah. into the hallway of the hotel before another employee of the Hyatt ran to the lobby to get help. Shortly after, Young Boy and Thigpen were both arrested, but with different charges. Young Boy was booked with disorderly conduct with the use of fighting words, disorderly conduct with physical obstruction of another, God. and possession of marijuana. Thigpin, on the other hand, was booked with disorderly conduct with acts of violence towards another, disorderly conduct with physical obstruction of another, and possession of marijuana. After being booked, they were released just moments. Why can't they just say they arrested them for possession of marijuana? Why you gotta add all that extra stuff that don't even make sense? Fighting words. But when we watched, when we watched it, he didn't say That's that. He just said, man, I'm like... You just not he like, you're not gonna take me to jail. And, and he was just like, you don't understand this lady came bothering me. Yeah, so, I don't know. I mean, I can understand the girl because she hit, yeah, she she hit the lady. the girl. <laughs> right. So, I can understand her her little charges. But if you're just going to do marijuana, it's just the fact that he started being famous and they got to hit him with something because they got to get money. That's just how they operate. Months later. But it wasn't until a month later that the Atlanta Police Department officially pressed charges on the two, with the final charges being two misdemeanors, which were possession of less than an ounce of marijuana and disorderly conduct. This case is still ongoing, and NBA Youngboy does have an upcoming court date in the near future. NBA Youngboy's latest arrest happened on May 17th, 2019. Something that According to shifting. multiple news outlets, NBA Youngboy and his entourage were leaving the Trump International Beach Resort in Sunny Isles Beach, Florida to perform at the Rolling Loud Festival in Miami. Reports say that around 1.30 p.m., gunfire erupted outside the hotel after NBA Youngboy's entourage and T. Grizzly's entourage got into a heated argument. Both parties exchanged gunfire and a total of three people were hit during the commotion. One of those individuals was 43-year-old Muhammad Jurati, who is an innocent bystander who, sadly, passed away after getting caught in the crossfire. A five-year-old boy was also grazed by a bullet, but was able to be treated at the scene by paramedics. The last person hit was NBA Youngboy's girlfriend, Kaylin Long. Kaylin was apparently hit in the arm and was taken to a Ventura hospital in stable condition where she was treated and later released. Police detained and questioned four people during this incident, but all four were later released without any charges being filed. Florida has a stand your ground law, and since NBA Youngboy claimed that this was an assassination attempt against him, his team did nothing illegal by firing back at the other shooters. Despite being in a shootout just moments before, NBA Youngboy still made it in time to perform at Rolling Loud. But just days later, a judge ordered NBA Youngboy to be arrested immediately, claiming that the shooting constituted a probation violation, despite the fact that Youngboy was the target and was not the one pulling the trigger. The judge requested that Youngboy Boy remain behind bars for at least 30 days while they figure out what to do moving forward. This is a very scary situation for NBA Young Boy since the judge has been very lenient with him and even denied the prosecutor's request of revoking his probation after claiming Young Boy is a threat to society. It's pretty clear that the judge sees the good in NBA Young Boy, but it does seem like she's getting pretty fed up with his antics and has the ability to put him in jail for years. Whether or not she will is up to her. But hopefully it all plays out in Young Boy's favor. As of now, he's still behind bars, but he has a court hearing coming up in a few weeks. So I guess we'll find out the outcome of all this then. Well, there you have it. The entire criminal history of NBA Young Boy. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up down below. And if you want to see more videos like this, then feel free to hit the subscribe button. Also, hit the notification bell to be notified whenever we upload a new video. Make sure to comment down below on any suggestions on who we should make a criminal history video on next. That's all I have for today. I'm out. I mean, like I said, I feel like he had been attacked. You know yeah. what I'm saying? In those situations. That, that's just my personal opinion. I feel like he had been. I mean, like I said, the baby mama, she did attack that girl. So, yeah. Her her stuff. Now, as far as that T. Grizzly thing, you know, them shooting, it's self-explanatory. You see, it's a his, attempt. I mean, his girl got hit. So, that's telling you that they were aiming for them. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, but he still did jail time for it. But, and, that's, and that's crazy because 
he defended himself. Or they was defending him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because of them two got into an argument. Well, why you didn't arrest the other person? Why you... I mean, T. Grizzly... And I bet you, T. Grizzly probably mad because young boy is out there. And this man felt that he was in jail. You know what I'm saying? It be, it be stuff like that. It's just a lot of jealousy or whatever. And it's just... It's just really, really crazy. You know what I'm saying? It's just... Other than that, man, other than that, y'all already know what to do, man. Please like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications. We out of here. Peace.